to be able to post it on YouTube so that you afterwards or those who cannot attend right now can um, check out the recordings and look up things or concepts they missed or want to get the repetition on. So a little bit of um, administration. I'm hoping now that you can see my shared screen with an Emacs buffer to the left and the course homepage to the right. And uh, at any point during this, if I turn out to be muted or, or showing strange thing on the screen, do type in the chat quickly so that I can adjust and, and fix it. We don't want to have a, a, a lecture which nobody can see or hear. That would be inconvenient. So uh, the, after the lecture on Tuesday, I managed to upload it uh, to YouTube. Uh, it took a while. It turned out that as I've got a screen with 4K resolution, uh, the recording is also, as I'm sharing the screen mostly, is 4K resolution. And it takes quite a bit of time for, for uh, YouTube to process it. But um, uh, somewhat um, strange, but still, if you want to look at um, a 4K recording of um, an Emacs buffer for uh, the lecture, then, then my channel is where to go. Um, I think it's a bit of over overkill of resolution, but it's fun to see that it actually works. So, um, <clears throat> The first evaluation meeting was now on the lunch. Uh, lunch time, I had a nice chat with uh, four of the uh, student representatives and uh, Felix. And we talked about a number of things. And one of the most uh, obvious things that happened after this was that I was asked to change uh, the home page to make sure that the course lecture and Zoom links and so on were very easily available. And I did that by changing the page from the standard, which is a syllabus, which is a requirement that it should start as, which is the page which was um, until, well, 15 minutes ago. So now it's instead the page with lecture media. So it goes directly to this page now as the home page, which means that the Zoom link for lectures, exercises, and, and the YouTubes and yeah, yeah, jam boards and so on are all available there, which I hope will be a slightly easier way of getting a fewer clicks to get to the way it should be. Um, there were, we also discussed a number of other uh, bigger and minor things uh, about improvements, and uh, we'll see what I can do about them. Um, there were some questions about weekly exercises for the, the bonus points for the exam. Well, um, uh, there is uh, um, an assignment for each week in the canvas. It's not compulsory, but if you do it, you can get a bonus point, which you can use to get a better grade, including a pass grade on the exam. Um, this week, as most weeks, it's deadline just before the exercise session on Friday. And here, the text is just to pick uh, any two of these four exercises from chapter one in the book. Uh, the lecture note link here just goes to the, um, the Git. No, actually, not to the GitHub repository. It goes to the files in, in Canvas where I uploaded a copy. Um, there is, uh, I, I would recommend you solve all of them. And not only these, as I mentioned last time, I, I think solving exercises is necessary to, to gain a deeper understanding of the course, uh, but you don't need to pick more than two for handing in for, for getting the bonus points. Um, exercise sessions, well, as, as you noticed on, on Tuesday, there was this um, um, demonstration, which was also partly recorded um, by Felix, and there will be different people doing the, the sort of demo sessions different weeks on the Tuesdays. And on Fridays, we're mostly focused on answering questions. So you can come in, work on problems, and get help. Uh, those problems could be any of the exercises in the book or other things you run into. Uh, and I want to uh, emphasize that it's not enough uh, to be just um, present at the lectures and exercise session to pass the course, I would say. I mean, it's not a requirement, but you probably need to study more. Okay, let's see. There is a question at the chat. Can we send in more than two if we're not confident in the answers to some of them? Yes, you can send in more than, than two. Uh, that's not a problem. Um, <clears throat> so please uh, make sure to ask questions because we, we, we are here 
for for you but we are not always doing teaching so there are other projects we're doing so the the assistants are usually doing 80 percent research work and 20 percent teaching which means that they have to schedule their their work time on the course uh, a bit so um, but you could anytime you can at any time ask questions on the canvas page and if we're online we, we can answer them directly or somebody else in the course may know the answer uh, but do use the, the exercise sessions where we will definitely always be present. Uh, if we send in three answers and get two correct, do we still get a bonus points? Yes. I think uh, the main thing with these bonus exercises is to should show that you have been working on them and, then, and the, the underlying motivation for having them, of course, is that I know from experience that those who actually work on exercises, they pass the course. So, the, well, actually, the, the, the effect on the gray cells in your brain is probably bigger than the bonus effect uh, on the exam, meaning that you may not even need those bonus points in the end because you've actually learned the material. But yes, um, what's the maximum amount of bonus points one can use for the exam? That is uh, the maximum nine, uh, if I remember correctly. If it's eight or nine, I think it's nine. Um, so, I mean, there is just one, one per week, but we, I think it's nine because one week there is a possibility of getting two. Uh, I think it's like week seven or something like that. Okay, anyway, the maximum exam grade is, is 100. So that means that you can, well, you can make a, a switch from just under uh, a grade border and to just over it, uh, but you can't really make a, a large change. Anyway, the, the counting here of the exercise sessions heading is saying that basically if the course is seven and a half credits, the standard way of counting that means 200 hours. Uh, the course is basically eight study weeks, mean, meaning 25 hours per week. Um, okay, yet another question in the chat. Uh, the, are the bonus points can be used to get a higher grade, not just for passing? Yes, they... the the. Um, the bonus points just increase the point before I set the grade, including the pass grade. It will not, uh, I mean, you, you still have to do the, the labs as well, the assignments. Uh, but uh, so, it, because if you fail the lab part of the course, you will fail the course in total. But for the exam, you can pass the exam by having just under the required credits and then getting over it by bonus points. So you can change your grade. But it's also the case, um, maybe I should open that page on, on the syllabus um, just to, to be clear here on, on the exam. So the grading, uh, well, th th there is a, there is not just a sum of points. Uh, so if you have, if you know nothing about one of the exercises, so there are usually four questions on the exam. And if you get less than five on either of them, you will also uh, fail the course. So you, you can't, and that cannot be helped up by the bonus points. I mean, you can have a sum of points which is passed uh, for the course, but still not pass the exam, because you need to have shown knowledge of all the four main learning outcomes tested on the exam. Um, and then the question about formats. The answers to the bonus questions is usually a text file or a Haskell file, but it could also be a PDF. Uh, or if you've got, if you've done it on paper, you can just scan it with the phone of your phone and, and hand it in. Or if you've written it on on the on a tablet or something like that, it's not very strict. But if it's a Haskell program, it's much easier if it's a Haskell file than if it's just a picture of it. Okay, lots of questions about bonus exercises, but that's good. Then we've cleared out that confusion. Um, <clears throat> I would recommend all of you to read the book. The, the basic setup is that chapter N is week N, study week N. So this is the week one of the course, and that means that chapter one is for this week. Um, and as you may see here, actually, on the page on the right, there's... Uh, yeah, there are, there are some headings about roughly what's in the different chapters, and uh, those sort of things we try to teach during that week. Um, uh, not all 
details in the book are covered in lectures. We don't fit everything into lectures, uh, but almost all of the book is in the course. It's just that some sections, I can say here, some sections, sections not included in the course marked with uh, asterisk, a star. Um, please use the Canvas page for communication. There is this uh, discussion forum here where you can ask questions. Um, I heard from the evaluators that people are not used to being able to get answers from, from Canvas, but we are eager to answer your questions. Uh, it might not happen the very minute you ask them if it's outside of exercise session time. But if it's an exercise session, it will happen quickly. And at other times, it depends a little bit on what we are up to. Uh, so you can ask uh, all kinds of questions here. I already got questions about are there solutions to exercises in the book? And the answer is yes. There are more than 50 solved exercises where the solutions are in the GitHub repository. Uh, some are even in the book, but most are in the GitHub repository only. Uh, there is a file uh, listing the solved exercises. Uh, so there's just a, a long list of, of which are, are solved. Um, well, I'm now trying to get back. OK. <clears throat> um, there is also, oh, this was not the page I was at. There was also a question about availability of old exams. And all currently 13 old exams plus solutions are available also in the GitHub repository. So there is plenty of material to practice on in preparation for the exam. They are in subdirectories named from the year and the month of the exam. So usually 03 for the main exam and 08 for the re-exam. It says, okay, do we only need to browse the L folder or are any of the other folders interesting? Well, concretely, uh, the exams are in the exam folder, uh, but basically the L folder for lectures and which is then the book and uh, the exam folder for all the exams. Uh, that, that's basically it. There are all there are a number of directories in the report, repository for old instances of the course and a few other administrative things. Uh, but mainly, I would say uh, it's the L and the exam folders. And I say a little bit more about that here. So um, yeah, the, the course memo, uh, there are assignments. If I click there, there's this a list of the the upcoming assignments, the bonus exercises, the, the two compulsory assignments, assignment one and assignment two. And um, well, yeah, then the exam, but that's not really a, an assignment in that sense. Uh, people, and that tab is where you can find the groups for signing up uh, for doing the, the first assignment. Um, Pages, well, that's mainly the, the lecture media page. Um, currently, there might be more things popping up. Files, it's mainly is the, the DSLs of maths book, uh, the actual PDF of the contents. Uh, discussions, well, as I mentioned, uh, do ask questions. And there is also this heading for, for trying to find people to mix with, uh, match with in a, in a lab group. Uh, announcements is where we broadcast messages, things like new lecture uploaded or, or as it says here, partial recording of the exercise demo session. So Felix uploaded um, a recording of what he was doing on Tuesday after the lecture to uh, YouTube. Um, and then, as I mentioned, on GitHub, there are all the old exams, uh, 13 of them. So if we click on a random one here, there's going to be the actual PDF that was printed for, for, for the exam uh, with all the questions. And then there are also files with solutions to each of the problems. So there's lots of material in there. And uh, about the solved exercises, there is this, this file with, um, uh, and then, well, with a classification of which exercises are solved. So some, for example, the, the exercises which are bonus exercises, they are not solved, but also it would be a bit uh, strange to have them solved in the GitHub repository because it would be a little too easy for you to just check out the solution. Um, 
yeah, okay. I think that's all on the administrative side. Um, any other questions? Okay, then what I'll do to ease the job for people looking at this afterwards is that I will stop the recording and restart it.